taking a break from his busy schedule of hand washing and <laughs> rewatching Tiger King. It's time for BSN with Big Nate. Are you sick and tired of using those cheap, smelly blue masks? They only seem to break, and no matter what you try to do and fix it, it just doesn't work. Plus, they look horrendous, and they never fit quite right. There's gotta be a better mask! Now there is! Introducing the new limited edition 105.3 The Bear Mask. This two-ply eco-friendly face cover is washable and reusable. And the best part about the new 105.3 The Bear Mask is that 100% of the proceeds benefit the Southwest Virginia COVID-19 Response Force. Get your new limited edition 105.3 The Bear Mask today!
welcome into another edition of BSM with Big Nate. I'm Big Nate. That was Whistler with Mystery. And I'm, of course, as you probably figured out by now, joined by Whistler. I've got Bradley and Brad. Yes, that's right. Two people with the same first name here. <laughs> Bradley, of course, handling vocals. Brad handling guitar. How you doing, fellas? Good, man. Good. Glad to All be right, here. So, so we're going to start things off. Uh, what I kind of like to do is is get a little bit of an artist profile and, and a background. So, how did Whistler come to be? Well, uh, after I'd moved down here, man, I I was down here for a good probably two and a half, three years before I, I actually started thinking about trying to get a band going. Uh, I was doing a solo gig and just trying to get my foot in the door and really meet some people and things like that. And... Uh, a little bit after that time, I was like, yeah, it's, it's time to get a band element. But the deal I was doing with my solo stuff was mainly covers and stuff like that. And I was like, I don't want to waste, you know, my, my my time with, you know, trying to get a cover band together because my heart is in original music, you know, and um, I care about that. And so uh, I come up with an idea to try to find, you know, four or five other guys to jam with. Uh, fortunately, this is, this is what I like. This is, my my this is Whistler here, these guys here, but uh whenever I first started the band I had three other guys um that that just didn't they just didn't work out. Um come with scheduling conflicts, you know, just different points of view on how we wanted to pursue our band and things like that. And um so we, I, I moved away from those guys and about another month went by and um, after putting Craig list ads up and talking to friends and Ambler from uh, Out with Ambler, be sure to check that out. Um, she uh, uh, she hit me up with Brad, and uh, we, me and Brad, kind of talked influences and got to see Brad play. You know, he sent me some videos and things like that. And honestly, man, like I, I'm the type that I I just I don't care what what you play, what style you're you're into or anything like that. You know, me and me and Brad, you know, we have a lot of the same taste in music, but then he's got stuff that I have never even heard of. And, uh, um, but, but his heart is just there. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I would much rather work with somebody that, that their heart is, is where mine is. And we can, we can find a common ground somewhere than have somebody that's like-minded and not really with it. So, um, got with Brad and then, um, I, I reached out to a buddy of mine named Aaron, who is now playing bass. He uh, he's from Jamestown, North Carolina. Um, he wasn't playing with anybody. He had just recently left the band, so uh, we uh, linked up with him. And then uh, Aaron knew a, a knew a drummer, and it just kind of went from there, man. Like Aaron knew somebody, and then Chris knew another guitar player. So the lineup that we uh, that we worked out just kind of it sparked by word of mouth more than anything. All right, that's what I like to hear. So I want to dissect that a little bit. Uh, we're going to start with you. You reference down here. Now I, I want to point out. I, correct me if I'm wrong, Bradley, but you grew up in Pulaski, correct? Yes, sir. And where is down here? Down here is Winston Salem, North Carolina. There you go, Whistler coming out of Winston. Winston Salem. Good lord, that's a lot of WI sounds. <laughs> out of Winston Salem, North Carolina. Now, where'd the name Whistler come from? Um, we were we were with the with the first set of guys there. We were just kind of thinking of something cool, one word, you know, that kind of rolls off the tongue. And literally, man, I was at my house one night, and I was just like racking my mind with uh, like comic book alias. And do you remember the Blade movies? I do. You know Chris Christopherson's character, Whistler? Yep. We named the band pretty much after that. I like it. So yeah. Whistler was something that stood out to me because the reason I got into radio, actually, uh, growing up, I listened to a lot of uh, – uh, I had a Smithsonian collection of old radio mystery serials. And one of those where I think the name the Whistler for, for Blade came from, I think it came from the Whistler radio serial, which had this guy whistling at the beginning of it, and then – I would go on. It was just this weird, like, horror mystery serial that was, uh, was a lot crazy. of fun. I'm going to have to check that out. It's some good stuff. I mean, they're all available online by now. They're 
well into the public domain. Yeah. I'm going to ask you something, and, and this is hard because I'm going to ask you to uh, something that we, a lot of artists probably don't want to do, but I want you to uh, pigeonhole yourself, as it were. I want you to describe Whistler's sound in three words. You got three words to describe what Whistler sounds like. You throw one out there. Hooky. Hooky. Yeah, I like that one. Um, <laughs> rock, man. Hooky rock. Yeah. Uh, uh, contagious. Hooky, contagious rock. I like it. See, there, yeah. that's a genre right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At the beginning of this, we heard mystery, and you guys actually, throughout everything going on with COVID-19, you guys put out an honest-to-God video yeah. <laughs> for mystery, and I, I mean, I watched it today, and, and I was I was taken aback, because there's a lot going on there that's just yeah. very fitting for the way 2020 is gone. <laughs> so I, w I want you. I, w I want you guys to tell me what it was like shooting that video. It, <laughs> go ahead, Ray. You start us off. It was a lot of fun. It was definitely different. Uh, we, you know, we obviously filmed it. We weren't around each other when we filmed it, so you just said, "Hey, you know, cut your phone on whatever you've got to film with, and play the song, and just do your thing." And I went kind of crazy with it. I broke out some of my steampunk goggles and my luchador mask, which I don't think any of that made the cut. But <laughs> a lot <laughs> there's, of stuff. There's some good stuff that, yeah. that didn't end up in the video, but it was audible too. So <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of fun. Who did the production work on that? Because I love, like, it's got like this like 90s computer crashing motif to it. Yeah. But I'm a big fan of, like, like I like the uh, the different computer windows on each member and everything popping and crashing. Dude, the, uh, the, the, the video was actually done by our, our other guitar player, Lucas. Uh, he, um, he's very talented when it comes to this stuff. Honestly, I didn't realize how talented he was. Um, he has, um, he has his own YouTube channel. What is it called? Fine tuning. Fine -tuning. Yeah. Fine tuning, man. He's got like 17,000 followers on there. And, uh, he does a lot of like tutorials on like guitar playing and he'll, re he'll review guitars and amps and talk about bands. And, uh, we just, we were going to do, we were going to do an on location video, um, you know, which was going to just have, you know, just us playing live and then really get down and stuff. But whenever the COVID deal hit, uh, it, we were, I think the thing that sparked it is we were having a group chat one day and just the way it looked in the group chat, like we were like, man, this would be cool to do a video like this. And um, and then Lucas kind of ran wild with it. Like I saw something with the brick wall and uh, we were talking about, because the song has references putting up, you know, tearing that or building the walls and things like that. And uh, or putting up walls. Um, and uh, Lucas kind of just ran with it, man. And, and he kind of blew us away. Like, it, there's a lot of outtakes of, of where that video started because man like at first we were we were kind of just chilling when we were performing like I was sitting at a desk and like looking bored and then Brad sends his video in and he's rocking out and so everybody's like bored except Brad so Lucas is finally like yeah we should all redo it and go AP like Brad is <laughs> um so uh it, it I think you know it, it took about a good three weeks to to finally get that final deal, but man, Lucas, he, we owe it all to him. No, I, I mean, it looks incredible. It's so well done and yeah. it kind of like, I, I love how it starts off so smooth and then everything just falls apart. Yeah. Like it's very much analogous to the way, way uh, uh, 2020 is gone. So uh, <laughs> definitely, if you haven't checked out the mystery video, it's, uh, <laughs> it's definitely worth the watch. What's on the horizon for Whistler? You know, we, like let's let's assume everything's going back to normal very very soon. What what do you guys got next on the agenda? A couple more videos in the works. Uh, then we're going to be doing some uh, studio live sessions. Uh, we've got one scheduled late August. We're working on schedule on another one right now. No set date for that yet. We may be playing a live show. I think it's what the Friday or Saturday of Labor Day weekend. Yeah. 
Yeah. I say maybe because, you know, we just don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. With, you know, <clears throat> it's scheduled. We'll see if it comes together. I feel like that's the trickiest part with all this it, it is, I mean, the best laid plans are kind of cast aside by everything going on. And it's like, as a band, and, and you guys can probably speak to this way better than I can, but, you know, you spend all this time planning, writing, recording, and, and then you're just at the mercy of what's going on in the world. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man, it blew a lot of the wind out of our sails, that's for sure. Like, you know, and, and, and then the video, you know, we did the video, and that, that really helped things, um, you know, just sparking some some buzz. And honestly, that was the that was the first – release the band had had like the first lineup we we recorded but we didn't get to release anything before everybody bailed out um so that was the first release we'd have and we've got two videos in the works um right now and then uh we haven't even started rehearsing yet we we start rehearsing next wednesday um it'll be our first rehearsal back um with everything because uh one of our bass player it he uh aaron he he went. He hightailed it down to Seagrove, North Carolina. He's out in the middle of the woods, man. That dude told me he wasn't coming out until this thing is over. <laughs> but um, but now nah, he's going to make it out next Wednesday, uh, and so hopefully we can. That's going to really spark everything's back, everything back up, and so we can get to play. You know, that's what we're looking for. So, last but not least, and probably most importantly because you guys got that killer video for mystery and, and people are going to want to find you. Where can they find Whistler online? If you go to Facebook, uh, you can find us at Whistler NC. Um, just all one word, Whistler NC. Um, Instagram, Whistler Tunes, ReverbNation.com, uh, Whistler Music. Um, that's about it. And you can search, we have a YouTube channel as well. If you just search Whistler on YouTube, we have a YouTuber. Pretty much that video is, is all that's on there right now. But once everything opens back up and we start playing again, man, we gonna, we'll get back at it. And that's what I like to hear. Whistler, a band to keep your eye on. Of course, many thank yous to uh, Ambler for apparently putting yeah. Whistler together and, of course, putting me in connection with Whistler. And uh, thank you guys so much for joining me. This is Brad and Bradley of Whistler. Putting out some killer tunes. Check out their mystery video. And, uh, of course, always keep watching the 105.3 The Bear Facebook for BSM with Big Nate. Sweet. Peace. Are you sick and tired of using those cheap, smelly blue masks? They always seem to break, and no matter what you try to do and fix it, it just doesn't work. Plus, they look horrendous, and they never fit quite right. <laughs> There's gotta be a better mask! Now there is! Introducing the new limited edition 105.3 The Bear Mask. This two-ply eco-friendly face cover is washable and reusable. And the best part about the new 105.3 The Bear Mask is that 100% of the proceeds benefit the Southwest Virginia COVID-19 Response Force. Get your new limited edition 105.3 The Bear Mask today!